You know, to, to think that we could affect weather all that much is, is, is pretty arrogant. The Mother Nature is so big. The world is so big. The, the oceans are so big. I think we're going to die from a lack of fresh water, or we're going to die from ocean acidification before we die from global warming, for sure. But this is like, you know, you said, in your career. My career has been 22 years long. That's a, a good career in TV. But in, in talking about climate, it's like having a car for three days and say, this is a great car. Well, yeah, it was for three days, but maybe in day five, six, and seven, it won't be so good. And that's what we're doing here. We have 100 years' worth of data, not millions of years that the world's been around. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jay, we've been around uh, just a little over four, by scientific estimates, about four and a half billion uh, years. Uh, what, is, what is your thought about the dominant influence on weather? Uh, uh, well, clearly, clearly, Lou, it is the sun. But if we go back in re really recorded human history, in the 13th century, we were probably seven degrees Fahrenheit warmer than we are now, and it was a very prosperous time for mankind. If we go back to the Revolutionary War 300 years ago, it was very, very cold. We've been warming out of that cold spell from the Revolutionary War period, and now we're back into a cooling cycle. The last 10 years have been quite cool, and uh, right now I think we're going into cooling rather than warming and that should be a much greater concern for uh, humankind but all we can do is adapt it is the sun that uh, does it not man